Today is October 15th. Anything that could be wrong with the weather is wrong today. The moon phase is perfect. Um, but the weather just wasn't cooperating. The wind's blowing at 20 miles an hour right from the south, um, which is horrible for all of our tree stands that we have out at our usual properties. I woke up this morning at 5.30, 5 15 check the weather it was blowing at 22 miles an hour and I was like that's not happening I'm not I'm not gonna go try to sit in a stand and bump a big buck on the on today and then not have another chance at him the rest of the season without moving so we're staying away from our usual two properties I came out to a chunk of property now and it's hardy it's already eight o'clock but I came out to a little tiny it's probably 20 acres of woods surrounded by probably 100 acres of cornfield on both sides. Um, it's a great bedding spot. We shot a big buck out here last year in rifle season that we couldn't find. And we had an opportunity to shoot two other nice bucks. So I'm just going to walk in, sit on the ground. It, there's a logging road that goes right through the middle of two little chunks of property. Or woods. One's pine trees, one's timber, and just thick brush it screams deer bed to me um and there's a logging road that goes right down the middle of it so i'm gonna sit in that logging road and it's already late enough the deer probably aren't moving too much anymore anyway i'm just gonna go in there probably for like an hour and a half i'm gonna give a couple rattles and grunts see if anything decides to come join the party um i wouldn't have hunted today but it's just it's just a drive in me that I couldn't sleep, toss and turn. All right, fine, let's just go out, but we'll just go out to another chunk of property. The rundown for the weekend, it was just going to be um, a lot more scouting and some moving some trail cameras around and checking to see if scrapes are starting to show up. It's that time of year in October where the deer have just like, They've disappeared for a while. They call them before the storm, before they come out and start looking for the first doe coming into heat. Bucks start to move. They look a lot bigger. So, I mean, it's not a great weekend to hunt this weekend and probably next week. Next weekend, you'll probably see some smaller bucks. Their bodies are going to look bigger. There's going to be more scrapes. And the following weekend, you're going to be seeing bigger bucks on their feet for sure during daylight hours so really excited for that weekend but for now i'm just gonna go see if i can't accidentally shoot a nice big one essentially um it's still pretty windy it says it's calmed down but these gusts are still pretty strong um i'll be protected by the cornfield and the pine trees so we'll see how bad it is once i get down there i'm just gonna be sitting with some weeds cover the front and probably a, a nice uh, timber backdrop or pine tree backdrop um, just sitting on the ground no blind and we'll see what we can uh, conjure up down there so hopefully I can accidentally get a big one today that'd be great let's find out so today was kind of a bust which is fine, I expected it. Bad weather, bad wind. Um, I picked a spot that there's only one option on this property and that's where I am in a little 136 yard driveway. Um, give a couple calls to see if anything would come to that. I doubted it, but who knows, right? Um, nothing came out, so. I mean, exactly what I expected is what happened, so not too disappointed, but every time you don't see deer, it's not fun. Um, now I'm going to go move some trail cameras around on our other property and uh, call it a day until the evening. So, I'm give it another 10 minutes, I'm going to head out. Here we are, back in the same spot as this morning. I figured, you know, we got some rain coming in right now. And the temperatures are about to drop 20 degrees in a few hours. And we're on just a perfect funnel for deer to get to their food. So, like 
I said, we've done zero scouting out here, so I don't know what lives out here, what breathes out here, but we're in the perfect position to find out. It's 414 and 71 degrees. The wind's blowing the right direction on top of the hill, but down here it's right down the driveway. I spray myself, I keep myself in the scent free box. So, we're about to test that product today. Well, no deer, new spot. I mean, we didn't expect to see anything, so. I mean, no harm, no foul, I guess. We're not on our regular spots where we have pictures of bucks that we're chasing. So coming out here on a day that you don't expect to see deer, you're not bumping anything that you've been after for two, three months at this point. So, I mean, now it's just a decision on where we're gonna sit tomorrow morning, the wind changes for us we could go sit in one of our regular stands tomorrow morning if we wanted to um it'll probably be when we wake up kind of decision see what the temperature is if we like it we might head out otherwise it's gonna be i might want to sit here again it's been a morning and an afternoon now and haven't had any sign of deer really i deer make a distinct sound when they're eating corn could have swore I heard it behind me, but not spooking anything on the way out tells me that I don't think that's true. So, hopefully, I'll wake up tomorrow morning. Otherwise, this may be a wrap for the weekend. Yeah, move some trail cameras around, and that was about it. So, I will hopefully see you all tomorrow morning. So, this morning, I missed my alarm. Wasn't too bad. Got to the stand over at the Rush property and uh, got out of the truck and realized my bow is in the other vehicle. So, change of plans. Drove back home. Grabbed my bow. It's late now. Now it's almost 8 o'clock again. Um, so, optimism brought me to a chunk of property I've literally never walked on before. So, we're just going to go wander through, find a spot to sit. See if we can't catch something between food and bed and call it a weekend. It's been a rough weekend of hunting. Um, you know, I could probably still go sit at the Rush property and see deer. But I'd rather not try to jump something when, I, when I'm walking in and then have it never come back again. So this will probably work. I'm optimistic about it. There's some huge bucks that get shot back over here. Um, so we'll see if we can just uh, accidentally stumble upon one.
So I'll be honest, this week's episode could have been way more exciting for you all. But temperatures had us down, it's that time of year, deer just aren't moving, nothing went our way. And that's what happens with hunting. But temperatures are dropping, bucks are moving, making scrapes, and we got three great weekends of hunting coming up. And I have a great feeling that someone is going to put a buck down. So until then, for all of you that stuck around through me babbling in this episode, I threw in a couple bonus clips for you. So hope you enjoy them. Really? Morning, it's oct- no. I don't have very good camouflage on for this spot at all. And not having a blind is killing me. There's gonna be zero warning if a deer comes out on that side of me. It's just gonna be standing there all of a sudden. It's amazing how it thinks they're doing. How's this look? This is perfect. Is my head cut off? Look at the camera. Let's see how about it? How now, brown cow? I scream. <laughs> you should put bloopers. <laughs> <laughs>